Now, I talked a little while ago about what is a, uh, a contrarian viewpoint, and this one certainly is. This is my LOF TV, as we call it, where I go around talking to different people in the League of First-Time Voters. What are people really saying and thinking about as we approach this historic election? Here are three men who tell me they are not going to vote for the person most people think that they would normally vote for. Take a listen. I want to take a look at race and set it aside and stick to who's best prepared to lead. And so you think John McCain is better prepared to lead our country than Barack Obama? I know he's better prepared to lead. Isn't there, isn't there any source of pride within you that says, I may be against this guy, mm -hmm. I may like the other guy, but he makes me proud. No? Oh, absolutely. I, we can, we're proud of Barack Obama. There, there are millions of children that look at him as a black man and say, wow, I can, be a, I can become a nominee to a major party. There's the potential to be president of the United States. Yes, we celebrate that. But, see, when but you get, would say to those children, don't vote for him. Yes, I would, based on principle. Absolutely. Principles matter. Lower taxes, strong national defense, uh, traditional marriage, free market solutions, those types of things. That's what we believe in the Republican Party. Austin, you agree? I agree very much so. Um, we're very proud of Iraq, even though he's done a lot of good and everything. But you still have to look at it from principal aspect. Uh, you want to vote for the best candidate. Uh, McCain's proven. He's, uh, he's been in uh, leadership positions before. I feel that Barack's a good candidate, but I feel at times he, uh, he talks a lot. and he feels, I, don't, I don't feel he can get everything that he talks necessarily done. I feel that he's just, um, just like a motivational speaker at some times. But I really, I really think that, uh, that uh, it, being a Republican is the way to go. Is there anything that you guys feel at times from uh, your friends? or your family that make you feel pressure, almost like, and I hate to use the word, but you know it's been used before, so I'll give it to you, a sellout to your hey, own race. Hey, it, it, it comes up. We're a very conservative family, but when it comes to the issues, I start with, with questions that tend to bring silence, like if Democrats are for the poor, why are people still poor? And you can hear the silence in the room. Uh, who will best serve as leader of this country? Do you want a steady hand in times of crisis and need, or do you want to go with the unknown? With McCain, you may disagree with him, but you know where he stands. I'm not so sure you have that from the other side. There's going to be a lot of bashing comes with it, but you have to you have to take it and you have to know where you stand. It doesn't really hurt. It just, I mean, I wish they got to get to got to feel me and get my own opinion on politics. Just because of Obama's and I have a lot of people just because he's black, they're voting for him. And I feel that that's not that's not right. My friends and family and I, we've had debates, we've had conversations, but there's never been any disrespect. And I've found in my experience with, with family, friends, coworkers, I found that most people that I run into that are black, they are conservative. But for they whatever just don't reason, know it. They just don't know it yet. <laughs> and it just doesn't translate to a Republican vote, but we're going to work on that.